Hey everybody, it's me Kiana and you're watching Kiana's Crazy Rockin' Life where we talk everything crazy. And today on Tipsy Wednesday or Commentary Wednesday, I like to call it, we will be talking about a viral video with over a million views. And this video is called, What are the problems with Japanese girls? But before we jump into this topic, I would like to say if you are already subscribed, then welcome back. And if you're not subscribed, then I hope you subscribe with us. And just a disclaimer, if you're going to be subscribing to my channel, I would like to let you know that I am just very creative, like I said. And uh, if you look at my banner on my page here on YouTube, then you'll see that, you know, this channel is about a few things. And if you don't want to see certain things, then I would just suggest, you know, wait until there's some type of video that you do like, or you can just tell me what types of videos that you want to review on. And now I think I got everything covered, so let's just go ahead and roll the video. This should be good. I want to clarify two things before I tell you anything, just in case. Number one, when I say Japanese girls, it's not referring to every single Japanese girl in Japan. That's impossible, obviously. The thing is, this is completely based on my personal experience. And it's totally different from yours and other Japanese people. So don't blame me, saying like, you are stereotyping. You are generalizing all the entire Japanese women. No, keep in mind, what I'm gonna say, doesn't always apply to the Japanese girls you're gonna meet in Japan. Number two, I do not dislike Japanese women. Now, when I- I think you should be careful if you have to say that before your video starts, but okay. I say something bad about the Japanese people or foreigners. Many people say, oh, you don't like Japanese people. You don't like foreigners. And I look like a disgusting complainer. Come on, guys. It's not I'm like that. I'm just kidding. But think about it. Nobody is perfect. Regardless of the nationality or culture, everyone has some issues when it comes to personality or behavior. Trust me, there are so many good things about Japanese women as well as the bad things. But if you are trying to date a Japanese girl, probably it's better telling you the bad things rather than telling you the good things. Because I don't want you to have too much expectation to Japanese women. Otherwise, you're gonna get in trouble. Okay, without further ado, these are my three programs with Japanese girls. Number one, pretending like a dumb girl. Have People you ever seen a Japanese girl like this? <laughs> eh, I don't know. How do I do it? Eh, so what is it? I don't know. Can nobody play with you, sir? Honestly, I can't deal with this kind of dumb girl because I can't have a meaningful conversation or discussion with her. However, what is worse than dumb girls is pretending like a dumb girl okay. just only okay. in front of guys even though she's actually not dumb that's right they think that's attractive for guys but it's actually pretty cringy at least for me the other day some of my audience asked me nobita i wonder why most women you interview are pretty older than you is that your personal preference yeah that's actually true because i'm more attracted to someone mature intelligent and smart and all the women are usually like that. More likely, I can learn something new and I can enjoy the conversation. Why are we just, you know, talking about this like this isn't just his type though? I mean, maybe it's just his type. Let's let's try to say that. <laughs> when I do a solid interview or going to party event, something like that, I subconsciously more often talk to older women than younger ones. Because living in Japan and talking with a lot of Japanese women, this is what I found. Younger women tend to be immature, too childish, and playing dumb. And that turns me off quite often. The funny thing is, most of my Japanese guy friends prefer younger women and not smarter than themselves. So they are actually totally okay with dumb Japanese girls. Maybe they actually prefer that way. According to a Japanese survey that asking Japanese guys which type is more attractive, 61% of the Japanese guys prefer cute innocent girls rather than sexy adult women actually i can tell that in fact so many young cute this sounds like just his place of residence like this just sounds like a japan problem i mean type female celebrities and pop idols are really popular with guys in japan so maybe not just my japanese guy friends but maybe the majority of Japanese guys prefer 
cute younger Japanese girls, knowing that preference, maybe that's why many Japanese girls pretend like a dumb girl. But if you are like me, maybe the tendency of young Japanese girls could be a big turn off. Number two, too much makeup. I know you wanna argue. That's not only Japanese girls, but every girl. From my experience in Japan, however, most Japanese girls have a heavy makeup. And it's like they can't go anywhere without makeup. According to a survey, a Japanese marketing research company conducted to 800 wow. women okay. in Japan. About 70% of the women do wear makeup more than four days at least. But Why based on my experience in charts? Japan, I do think the percentage is actually more. But isn't makeup like a Japanese thing? Like, what's wrong? Like, can we not just... The thing is, 63.5% of the women are already married in this survey. So I think Japanese women who are not married yet are probably more likely to wear makeup when going out. I personally rarely saw Japanese girls with no makeup in Japan, literally just three times in my entire life. On the other hand, I met quite a few Western women who are totally okay with no makeup, just like this lady. I never wear makeup. Oh, uh, never? Uh, never. Never. Oh, that, poo -poo. Totally I'm without okay. makeup now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's totally okay. Yes, so I am a person who doesn't wear makeup because I want to... I don't think everyone who wears makeup is trying to cover something up. I mean, who are we to judge why someone is wearing makeup? Who cares, really? Who cares? I think if we just accepted people for who they are, we wouldn't have that problem. <laughs> Encourage people that you don't have to hide your face. One of my Japanese female friends, she said, I can't go out anywhere without makeup, even to the nearest convenience store, literally just five minutes walk. Because she says, it's too embarrassing for me to show the real face to the salesperson. Another my Japanese female friend said, I can't show my real face to my boyfriend because I'm too afraid that's gonna turn him off. And many Japanese women do makeup, even on trains. This is actually not rare to see in Japan. Honestly, it's pretty cringy for me, even as a native Japanese Poo -poo. person. Now let me ask you, am I the only one who thinks heavy makeup is like hiding all your weakness and too insecure about yourself? I'd rather see your real face, whatever it is, I mean, rather than see you. Have you ever taken your makeup off and thought, hey, I'm so pretty, and then when you take your makeup off in front of someone else they're just like oh my god horrible i have to wash my eyes out with bleach okay it's not us who is insecure it's you know people who are not okay with how we look because they have these problems with you know how people look they're they're the problem fake face all the time the reason i say this majority of girls are naturally beautiful they don't actually need makeup yes to we're all beautiful I know. inside and just out enjoy having makeup not for guys i know that but if you're a female just know that too much makeup is not attractive for guys at all and even could be a big turn off number three talking behind your back this no, is actually I agree the with biggest that turn off to do for that, me personally but, wow. and unfortunately a lot of japanese women do this I've seen many times. Wow, your hairstyle is really good. It looks great on you. And once that person is not there, she's talking to another person like this. Did you see that? Her hairstyle is gross and disgusting. I'm kind of exaggerating, but this kind of behavior is so bad, isn't it? This Japanese website shows the result of survey conducted to wow, Japanese women. Polls, what is literally. the most annoying thing for you when it comes to friendship between women? And their number one complaint is too much bad mouth. Too much bad mouth. I now, mean, if you talk about that makes sense. Completely differently behind but I didn't know Japan that was going through that. Not only you are not honest, <laughs> but also you are not trustworthy. 
I definitely don't want to hang up that kind of person. The thing is, Japanese people are usually afraid of arguing, disagreeing, and being disliked by someone. Actually, anyone. Even if they have a strong opinion on something, they often try to keep it inside, not to make waves, especially at a group environment. So it's quite difficult to find out the real personality. It's like you are always not sure if she is being honest or not, even in a relationship. Of course, that's not everyone. I'm sure there are still many Japanese people who are completely honest about what they think in mind. But from my experience in Japan at least, especially Japanese women tend to hesitate to express their opinions or feelings compared to Japanese men. And maybe this gonna turn you off if you like an honest person. But having all said that, I wanna strongly emphasize this. Living in Japan and talking with a lot of Japanese women, trust me, there are so many great traits about them. But if I try to tell you everything, probably it's gonna take five hours. So let me do that in another time. And remember, at the end of the day, every single Japanese girl is different. So probably it's better focusing on the individual rather than the nationality. And I noticed, regardless of the nationality or culture, every single female in the world has something great and attractive and who knows maybe you're gonna find the one in japan maybe you're gonna find your love in japan so i think we can agree that there's um some polls going on in japan that are asking the public a few questions about what is the problem with girls in Japan. I get it. I get this video. I feel like this is almost all just his opinion. And I feel like, you know, we should really look at ourselves in the mirror. Yeah. But at the same time, we can't be way too judgmental of people if we're kind of guilty of things ourselves. There is no person who has no flaws in the world. So... I mean, I think we need to be careful with how we judge each other, but I don't know. I feel like he was being a little bit too, you know what I mean. Anyways, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below about what he's talking about in the video and check the description box for any information that you might need. And I hope you have a great day, great week, great month, great year, whatever it might be. And I will see you on the next Commentary Wednesday, okay? Hope to see you around.